Hi, this is Ashok here. I'm a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix uh, training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to uh, CFA and investment banking topics. So money market instruments. Okay, money market instruments. So what are the money market instruments? That's what we are going to see now. But before that, what is money market? So money market as the name suggests it is not a market as such okay it says market but it is actually not a market okay it is not a market rather it is a system okay it is a system it is a system through which through which capital is raised through which capital is raised on short term basis on short term basis uh, to fulfill the working capital requirement to, to fulfill the working capital requirement okay So what are the different ways to fulfill the working capital requirement? So what are the different ways uh, to, to get this capital okay, for the working capital requirement? So what are the different ways? So different money market, that's where money market instruments comes into play. So different money market instruments are like treasury bills, shortly called as T-bills. So number one, treasury bills. Number two, commercial paper. commercial paper okay commercial paper number 3 um, number 3 certificate of deposits and then number 4 repo and reverse repo this is what we are going to see now okay repo and reverse repo so all this we will be seeing now so starting with T bills or commercial paper. So in T bills, so there is a borrower, there is a lender. So who is this borrower? Government. Government is borrowing, and why are they borrowing? Again, you know they might fall short of uh, uh, money. Uh, they they get their revenue from tax, and then the tax might not be sufficient enough to. Uh, fulfill their requirement of building infrastructures so for that reason they they are in need of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, capital so they can borrow they can borrow okay from the lenders so imagine they are borrowing let's say 900 and they are promising to repay 1000 they are promising to repay 1000 okay so that means lender uh, so this lender who is this lender this this typically you know this is all institutional investors institutional investors you know like insurance companies when we pay premium what do they do with that premium so they tend to invest like this insurance companies it can be um, you know mutual funds and so on mutual funds okay so these are the lenders so borrower is getting 900 and in return borrower is promising to repay a uh, thousand and the maturity period is normally within one year okay so let's say this is for six months assume like this so this is a six month treasury bill this is a six month treasury bill okay so what is the actual value of this uh, treasury bill the actual value is 1000 because lender has the right to get 1000 uh, rupees from the government so for that reason this is the actual value this value this is called the face value so the face value the face value of this uh, you know treasury bill is 1000 over here which you know uh, they are issuing at discount that means they are promising uh, to pay thousand however all they need in return is 900 okay so that means treasury bills are issued 
at discount okay it is it is issued at discount from the face value from the face value okay treasury bills are issued at discount from the face value okay so this is this is what treasury bill is all about this is one of the money market instrument through which government borrows money on short term basis okay so if you want to see practically what you can do is you can go to rbi.org.in so if you go to rbi.org.in you will get this page okay this is rbi.org.in uh, here you come down to search and then if you type bill you will get this 91 day treasury bill click over here okay, you will get this page and further you know you scroll down you will get this link 91 days 182 days 364 days treasury bill auctions so here you can get the details like you know for 91 days 10000 crore 182 days 6000 crore 364 days 6000 crore so this is what they are borrowing right all for short term basis correct yeah so this is about treasury bill then the next one is uh, commercial paper so commercial paper it is the same concept for commercial paper commercial paper it is the same concept however uh, instead of the government here one company you know is borrowing money from another so this company is the borrower this company is borrowing money from another lender so who is this lender again same you know institutional investors institutional investors typically yeah and then uh, borrower it can be any company you know that you hear around it can be geo it can be airtel you know this kind of companies they borrow on short term basis okay so here again same let's say this is 900 they are borrowing and they are promising to repay 1000 so in this case it is called as commercial paper commercial paper so commercial papers are unsecured why unsecured because uh, there is no collateral involved in it and that's why it is called as unsecured commercial papers are unsecured and commercial papers are also issued at discount from the face value so commercial papers are also issued at are also issued at discount from the face value also issued at issued at a discount issued at discount from the face value from the face value okay so this is commercial paper certificate of deposit uh, is a very common one certificate of deposit is is just like you know fixed deposit certificate of deposit so in certificate of deposit uh, you know bank is involved so it's between your bank and some uh, lender lender so here lender is giving let's say 900 and uh, bank is promising to pay 1000 so when your bank is involved it is called a certificate of deposit so your lender is depositing okay depositing money in your bank and as your proof bank is giving your certificate that is called certificate of deposit okay so certificate of deposit then uh, next one is repo and reverse repo so repo and reverse repo for this let's take the example of your simple uh, mutut finance example imagine there is a borrower who goes to mutut finance lender so this lender is mutut finance now you know borrower says you know, mutut finance you know they issue gold loans so when borrower is in need of money he has to take his gold 
let's say is is taking his gold uh, which is worth for 1000 and in turn mutut uh, will be ready to pay around let's say 600 600 they are giving as loan so uh, and then after a few months what will happen after a few months the borrower will so this is gold okay gold worth for 1000 and after a few months the borrower will get back his gold worth 4000 and he will pay let's say 700 so he will pay 700 so in this case that means borrower took 600 and he is paying 700 so this 100 is the benefit for the lender in this case mutut for mutut finance 100 is the benefit whereas mutut took gold you know from the borrower and it has returned uh, this gold to the borrower okay now this same uh, uh, loan let me see it from another angle let's say this is not gold and this is not mutut finance okay so this is one company borrowing money from another company and which is collateralized so borrower has to uh, collateralize over here so you know because we are coming with finance background so let's instead of saying you know gold let's say government bond so this is government bond so he is collateralizing the borrower is collateralizing government bond and okay government bond worth for 600 and taking loan for see uh, 600 uh, i mean collateralizing government bond worth for 1000 and taking loan for 600 and then after a few months he gets back his government bond which he collateralized and he is giving 700 so the lender gets 100 benefit over here okay so this is what happens in repo and reverse repo but then let me just explain the name in a better way repo and reverse repo why it is called as so borrower see borrower is giving a product and he is taking cash so this is as good as giving a product taking cash is as good as sale okay so if this is sale for the borrower for the lender it is as good as purchase because he is giving cash and he is taking government bond whereas the second case borrower is taking back your product and he is giving uh, cash so this is as good as purchase okay this is as good as purchase if this is purchase from the lenders perspective this will be a uh, sale okay so now you see borrower is selling first and then uh, purchasing it again so i can call this as repurchase he is selling and then he is purchasing it again so so see this this is sell and then repurchase shortly called as repo repurchase shortly called as repo okay this is from the borrower's point of view it is a repo but the same instrument from the lender's perspective what is he doing he is purchasing and then he is selling so you see here this is sale this becomes purchase this is purchase this becomes sale for the lender this becomes repo here and for the lender it becomes reverse repo reverse repo okay so for the lender it is called as reverse repo for the uh, for i mean for the borrower it is called as repo so how do i define this repo uh, is a money market instrument uh, repo is an uh, uh, repo in, uh, is a money market instrument uh, wherein an agreement takes place to uh, to sell at the lower price that is 600 and then buy at the higher price okay repo perspective it is an agreement to sell uh, the underlying asset that is government bond at the lower price 600 and then and then uh, repurchase it at the higher price at the future date that is repo and reverse repo how will i define it it is an agreement to purchase okay uh, at the lower price 600 and then sell it at the higher price 700 at the future date that is reverse repo so these are some of the instruments of uh, you know money market money market instruments and uh, you know i thought of showing you one uh, money market mutual fund also where you can see all this example so i have taken this hdfc money market fund if i go to the portfolio of this uh, hdfc money market fund 
you see where this fund has be, uh, has invested see this treasury bills reserve bank of india issued by reserve bank so reserve bank is the one which borrows and lends on behalf of the government so treasury bill so treasury bill so this is all commercial paper commercial paper see this certificate of deposit bank will be involved okay these are industries small industries so commercial paper okay so these are some of the examples certificate of deposit axis bank and this is the maturity date also so you will see all will be you know less than a year okay so these are some of the examples Treasury bills, commercial paper, certificate of deposits are given over here. So, all right. So, this is about money market instruments. Thank you so much for your time.